Man, this place is like really well guarded. Well, there you are. What the hell is all this glitching out stuff? Okay. <laughs> He's quite the acrobatic fella, isn't he? Oh my god, a purple slug. No wonder there was <laughs> No wonder there were so many hogs up here. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory on the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we are going to start working on getting some coal down here because we're going to need that uh, both for the coal power plant and also for steel production. Um, so if we do our um, scan, uh, our scanner here, um, off to a little bit to the northeast-ish or so, um, there are going to be some coal deposits. Uh, now, I know that somewhere up in here, there's a couple pure nodes. Uh, we also have a normal and a pure node there. And then there's a whole bunch of nodes here. Most of these, I think, though, are... Uh, okay, those are a couple normals. These are, like, just the little, you know, standalone um, ones. And... It looks like the scanner doesn't quite reach out far enough. So, yeah, I'm thinking right about this area here is where we want to uh, go to. So if I put, I guess it doesn't really matter. If I put, like, well, here, let's do the scan again, first of all. And then I'll put the a map marker down. We could just use one of these here. Let's just use this thing, whatever the hell this is. So we'll start with the, this normal and pure node. Um, wait, how do I put that down? Oh, it's really small. <laughs> okay, so we'll put one there and... Uh, how do I get rid of this now? Do I just remove and... Remove. Now, do those show up on our compass? They don't. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess those are intended for you to be able to mark the map without it showing up on the compass. That must be the purpose of those things. Okay, so let's see here. I'm trying to decide. I'm not even exactly sure what's up that way. So let's go this way and we'll go kind of up into the hills from here and see if we can get to those locations. Um, oh, okay. Actually, maybe we can get through here. I'm sure I've been in this area, but... I'm not very familiar with it. It's, uh... And, and most likely the last time I was in this area was probably before they changed the map. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> All right, let's go this way. All right, let me look on the map now. If, okay, so if we can go along here, we might be able to get over there because it looks like these are going to be up higher um can we go around this way is there a path yeah it looks like there might be let's 
Let's see if we can go around this way. All right, so we have a stream. All right, let's go this way. almost uh oh shite okay that was almost too deep for us to uh get all the way through uh all right i think what we're gonna have to do is go on foot so let's take this apart and i should have gotten all the coal and stuff out of there too hi doggo yeah, we're going to have to go on foot from here. Okay, so let me look at the map again. We need to be going that direction. Some high cliffs. My goodness. Okay. Um, Let's go back over here. The, uh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, the first order business is... Oh, there's a yellow slug up here. Uh, there's probably going to be enemies too. Is finding, you know, finding it and kind of scoping it out. And then we're going to have to figure out the best pathway to get back this way. The yellow slug is up there. This is an interesting looking plant. This is cool. Oh, hard drive. Okay. Um, Let's I'm gonna say it's probably down about here. Oops. Uh, yeah. We'll call this HD for hard drive, and we'll give it the uh, that stamp. Okay. So we'll go after that later. Interesting terrain. All right, I hear something. Like a big baddie. Yeah, there's a big baddie right there. Do you not see me, dude? How can you? Oh, shit, now he sees me. <laughs> shit. Is that, uh, okay, that's the first normal coal deposit. And I think this place is called the Red Forest for obvious reasons. All right, let's go over to the pure deposit, which is going to be further over this way. Um, here's some pretty big meanies over there, so let's get our... Explorer back out. Wow, two big spiders. Just one of those bastards is scary enough. They shouldn't bother us if we stay in the Explorer, of course. Oh, red bamboo forest. That's what this is. Well, I don't know if that part's the red bamboo forest, but this part is. Because, you know, red bamboo, right? I do remember coming over here in update five once or twice just to kind of look around. I didn't do anything over here, but other than just kind of looking at it, it's pretty neat biome. I've got to be getting close here. Now uh, yeah, let's go up here. I'll bet you it's up on top here. There's a big hog there. Yep. Oh, there's two big hogs. All right. So what we're going to do then is... It's like you can't even see that I'm here. Oh, 
Oh, you fucker. Didn't even know that guy was there. Oh! What? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna drive my vehicle? What? What the hell just happened? Oh shit! Oh, I think <laughs> I think he shot his boulder at the our vehicle. Oh wow, he damaged it big time too. My goodness. Um, or no, that's not the vehicle. That's me. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I think he shot his like big boulder thingy at it, and it and it blew himself back. That's funny. Uh, okay, well here, let's let's see if we can get away a little ways away from him. Let's pull kind of over this way. All right, now jump back up here. That's right. Shoot your shoot your bolt. Uh, wait, what happened? Where did he go? He, like, just vanished. Man, this place is, like, really well guarded. Well, there you are. What the hell is all this glitching out stuff? Okay. <laughs> He's quite the acrobatic fella, isn't he? All right, let's get rid of these little bastards. Yeah, and there's even another one. They're all over the place. And another one? Good lord. All right, we got him. Um, I guess that's all of them. Tell you what, let's go to shotgun mode just in case. All right, this guy should have draw. Oh, okay. Where are the giblets from the big hog? They should be. I killed him right over here. Uh, I didn't blow him up, did I? Oh my god, a purple slug. No wonder there were so, <laughs> no wonder there were so many hogs up here. Alright, that's a great find. Okay, I don't know what happened to uh the giblets from the big guy. They're they're not there. Not that I can see anyway. Yeah, well that explains why this place was so heavily guarded. My goodness. Uh here, grab these. And a pure coal node. All right. Awesome. Okay, so now what we need to do is figure out how we're going to get this back home. So it's quite a ways away, isn't it? I think what we should do is go try and go as directly west as we can, and then we can intersect it with the road um because i'm probably going to need to put some conveyor belts well i could do i could do one more conveyor belt well i could do more conveyor belts higher but what i might end up doing is running some belts on the other side of the road and if we go directly west from here then we can also tap into this uh this coal node too Unless we want to, here, let's do another scan, um, because I know there is, let's see, where's the, this is the Northern Forest. I know there's some coal, pure coal, I think two nodes, in fact, right up in this area. Um, but that's even, even further north, of course. So, yeah, again, I think what we'll do is we'll just start with, with these two. Um, and we're going to put a Mark II Miner on this thing, so that means it's... I think that means it's going to be able to pull 200 and... Well, here, let's, let's just look. 
production. Um, 100, 120 resources per minute uh, on a normal. So sh I think it'll be 240 on the pure. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. So first thing we need to do is here. Let's get this back out of the way a little bit. And uh, we, we want to basically go due west. Okay. So let's start by putting some foundations down on the global grid. So we're lined up in that regard. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this guy wants to place. Production Mark II Miner. Oh, right. We've got to make um, a couple of... We have to make actually two portable miners. We need an equipment bench, so we'll just have to make that straight up. All right, so that's how it wants to place, but we want it to go. We want to be pointing west. Um. All right, so if we put that away. Okay, so this will do 240 coal per minute. Um, and our Mark three lines can transport, I think it's 270. Yeah. What we could maybe do is overclock this to, to bring us 270. Um, let's go ahead and actually make use of this purple power slug and I think we can make five uh, yeah we can make five of those nice I mean we might as well since we're you know we might as well fully utilize this is what I'm getting at um, so so we basically want it to bring down 270 Here, I'm just going to type that in Okay, so that way it's fully utilizing the line. Good. All right. Now, um, the next question is, how do I want to run this line? I suppose it makes the most sense to just bridge it straight across to, from here. Um, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. So let's grab... Uh, just the one meter foundation's fine. And are we, we are going, yeah, we are going due west. Okay. I'm just going to, um, pick that up for now. Oh, we got too much shit. Um, yeah, let's get rid of the, the leaves and the flowers. Okay, so, um... I think what I'll do is run the road first. And, you know, the other thing, too, is I I don't know if I have enough material to run a full Mark III. Yeah, see, that's not going to line up perfectly. We can turn it, though, so it's straight. Okay. And then, of course, we've got to get power out here, too. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just run this road um, all the way to the west and intersect with our road. And then I'll probably run power back here and then run the conveyor line um, from there. All right, so let's do this. Yeah, this is going to be a problem as well. There's something up there. How close are we to that other node? Oh, uh, that other node, I think, is up there, the coal node. All right, well, let's do this then. Let's go... Let's go to there. And maybe what we'll do is we'll dogleg... Yeah, we 
probably should be able to get away with this. Okay. Let's go this direction. Oh, you know what, though? We're going right into that other rock thingy. All right. In that case, let's, um, let's move this one back one. Is this... Uh, hold on. Where in the hell is that coal node at? Oh, it's over here. So this is just a slug uh, or a Mercer sphere. Let's go ahead and see what it is. Yeah, it's just a damn Mercer sphere or a summer sloop. Oh, yep, there it is down there. Okay. Um. All right, so... The problem with our cur... Oh, shit. That's why we have a parachute. <laughs> uh, the problem with our current direction of our road, though, is that it's... It's going right into... All of this stuff here. I mean, like, smack dab into it. All right, so maybe what we will do then is... Let's take all, uh, well, actually, hold on. So I'm just, what, what I'm trying to do is decide if I should just keep this road here and then, you know, bring up the other coal deposit to this point. Or if we should go back to this road and just do like maybe a little bit of a, here, let's do this. See, the problem is, is if we stay at this height, we're going to keep fighting, you know, running into these trees and, and all of these little arch thingies. All right. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll keep this here. And we'll, we'll just bring up that other coal node that's down below up to here as well and, and intersect it. We could try and shoot straight through here, I guess. You know, just clear the top of that. Just have to be careful not to have the belt way on the left hand side. Except for. are unfortunately clipping into the ground here and we may have some trouble a little further on from there too so we can fix that by just putting one more ramp there that looks good okay all right, so I think that's the way forward for that. Now let's go back over here. I just like to use the thinner platforms whenever possible. Um, but we can't get this angle with the thin platforms, unfortunately. Okay, so we got to tap into this, this coal node and bring it up to the road as well. There's got to be bad guys guarding this. Where are they? Oh, hard drive. Nice. Uh, I swear I hear the pitter-patter of little spider feet or something. I just don't see them. Sometimes they do pop in, you know. All right, where are you little bastards at? Seriously, this node is not guarded at all. Hmm. Okay. If you say so. If 
you say so, game. All right, so now what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to use um, we're gonna use an elevator up to there, or a lift, rather. Um, so let's put down four meter foundations here on the global. And I just want to... I'm, I'm really nervous because I keep hearing footsteps. Uh, let's see where this is going to place. Now, for this one, um, because it's a normal node, um, we're only going to put down a, a, a Mark 1 miner. Well, I mean, we could put down a Mark 2. Okay, if we do that... Okay. Oh, I gotta make two more thingy madoodles again. Alright, so if we put a Mark II down. I'm not sure if that's the direction I want it to go because of that tree. Well, actually, here. We'll take care of that problem. Alright, so this will produce. 120 per minute. Um, so we can put a Mark II line on this. And we're bringing 270 in from the other one, so that'll give us 390 coal in total from these two nodes. And then, of course, I mean, we could even overclock it. Just that, just for shits and grins. That would give us 180. But then we'd have to use the higher belt, which is, at this point, anyways, is really expensive for us because we're not, you know, we're not auto crafting um we're not automating steel beams so i think we'll we'll just keep that at its native 120 and use mark II belt and lift for this guy okay let's put those there we don't need those two now we'll attach a mark II lift to here and uh, that's a problem. That's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to have to turn this a different direction then. Turn it that way. Okay, we should be able to make that work. We might have to... I mean, I can't really tell how high that is from up here. Um, so we may have to... Um, That's, is that, here, let's just take it as high up as it'll go, and we'll go up there and take a quick look at it and see what it's doing there. Oh, let's go do this hard drive, too. There's got to be a monster over here. Oh, shit, there's two. Two plasma big boys. Um, all right. What if we try and snipe a doodle of them from way over here? I don't necessarily want to get both of their attentions at exactly the same time. That guy's further away than it seems. Trying to get the right trajectory here. There we go. We hit him that time. The thing is, though, is if you hit him from far enough away, they don't really know where you are. Got the first one. Got him. All right. We got heavy modular frames. There's a bad bed. Imminent destruction of fix it property. Yeah, fix it doesn't give a shit about me. They just don't want their property messed up. More heavy modular frames. Nice. What's this? A computer. Nine of them. Damn. And 463 screws. Okay. Let's get rid of the wood. Um, grab that. Grab those. We have 15 more computers. 
24 computers. Nice. A supercomputer and circuit boards. Oh my god. All right. And there's even more screws here. <sighs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back over here. And I'm going to... I'm just going to set a, a storage chest down that we can come back for later. So I guess we don't need that stuff at all. Um... Oh, shit. Let's stay topped off, because these guys do a hell of a lot of damage. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> Suck it, dude. All right. Uh, let's see. Organization. Personal storage box. Okay, that frees us up a little bit of room. In fact, I'm going to leave that there too, just so I see it later and helps me remember. Oh yeah, I got a box of shit there. Okay, let's pick up that shit ton of screws. Um, eight supercomputers. Ten circuit boards. And another 114 screws. That's a lot of loot. A lot of high-end loot. Anything else around here? All right, what do you what do you want? Two hundred fifty six megawatts. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> that's almost ten bio burners, you guys. Uh, okay, I tell you what we'll do. We will once we run power out here. We'll just temporarily run the power line over here and connect this up and pop it open. All right. So how much did that say again? 256. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to, to the map. Click apply. Okay, and when we, like I said, when I run the power up here, then I'll just s stop off over there and run a line to it real quick to open it up. Okay, anyway, back to this. What the hell are you doing up there? <laughs> Not up there anymore. Okay, so we need to get you all the way over here and the way we're gonna that is a that is a mark two right yeah it is okay we're just gonna do this and then that should allow us to run a mark two line it's not gonna be perfectly straight because here again uh it's just the position of the miner but what we can do is at least straighten it there And then we will intersect. Uh, well, actually, we'll create. What I'll do is I'll run the 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 further line first, and then I'll just put run this over the top of it. Okay, let's keep running the road here. Oh man, seriously? Can't. Uh, whoops. You know what? I'm not gonna worry about that. We can't. We should be able to get rid of this foliage though. Clips into the ground a little bit. Clips into the ground a little bit. Oh, radiation. Where the hell is that coming from? We did see um, a uranium thingy up here somewhere. Thought that was over that way, though. So it's all through that little section there. There's a bunch of radiation. Wow, look at all the dudes down there. Goodness gracious. I think that's a... Wait, what is that? Is that iron? I don't know what that is. Oh, ow! Damn it, Jim. All right. Well, you know what? We got to kill these. Oh, maybe that's the source of the radiation. Eh, uh, I don't think so. Because uranium is green. Oh, God. <laughs> that's not iron. It's not coal. It's not quartz. Is it Katerium? Is it sulfur? I 
I don't know what that is. All right, well, we're going to have to kill the bad bads and go check that out. Uh, there's a, a uranium thingy over there. But there's, maybe there's a, like a, a uranium cave or something right below this area. All right, well, let's just run past it. And then keep going a little further to get out of range of these nasties. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure what that stuff is, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Um. Can I use explosives on wildlife, or does it only work for structures? How's that working out for you, buddy? Oh, that worked out for him. him. <clears throat> we have one rebar left? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay. All right, these guys all bunched up here. I think that's everything. Boxite. Okay. That's what that is. All right, that's a very pretty rare resource. I don't know if we need it for something or if it's like Samor that's not used. I think we do need it. I'm pretty sure we do. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, mark that with one of these, I guess, with a rock. And we're going to just mark it so that way we know where it is if and when we ever need to come and access it. I'm still curious as to why this area is so irradiated. Unless, well, is it bauxite? Oh, maybe bauxite is radioactive. What if we go further this way? Hmm. I don't think that's the bauxite. There, there must be a cave underneath us with uranium in it. That's my guess. Okay, back to business here. Man, we're so damn high up, we can't even see all the way down. Um, there's what looks like might be another box height over there, and there's another hard drive way out on that rock outcropping. All right, what are those guys guarding? Tell. But if I'm not careful, I'm going to fall off. All right. Anyway, let's see. So. I think we want to go out, say, maybe three more tiles. Now, I. We could do this one of two ways. We could either. Uh, we could either make one just long ass ramp down there. The advantage of that is it would be easy for us in the short term to get, you know, get back up here. Or we could go vertical, you know, and use lifts, making it a pain in the ass to get up here in the short term. 
uh, meaning that we don't, you know, we can't really make hyper tubes in quantity yet because we need steel production going first. I can make them, but I have, you know, I, I just don't have enough to make a bunch of them. So I think, I think I'm, we're going to go for the ramp idea. But I just don't know. I can't see the road, so I can't really gauge where the ramp should start. So that being the case, I'm going to do this. Let's start right there. I'm just going to start it here. And if it turns out, if, you know, if we overshoot the road, then we'll have to back it off and redo it again. Uh, if we undershoot the road, then it's not a big deal because then we can just go flat to get to the rest of the way. And uh, we want the steepest angle possible here, which means, of course, we're going to use these ramps. And let's start going down and see what happens. And we, we'll definitely go over and grab that at some point. Oh, okay, this is better because now we can... We just had to drop down a little bit below the fog. Okay, we're definitely going to overshoot the road here. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, so. Let me think about this. Let's go one more out here. And then we're going to... Uh, actually, you know what else I'm going to do? Let's make these last two four meter foundations just so it looks better from down below. Okay. if I can kill that from here. Oh, okay, I can. With the shotguns. Well, that was useful. Putting supports down for this thing's going to be a pain in the ass. But I'll figure out a way to do it because this is how I roll. Let's go that far. Do maybe two more. One more. All right. I think that's pretty close. Let's put a, a one meter foundation there. This is just temporary. It's going to be a uh, you know, uh, uh, our initial way to get up and down. What we're going to need to do is run two lifts. <laughs> but I'm, I'm almost thinking before I do that, I should, I should get the, run the conveyor lines all the way over here first. And... We're going to need one more of those, too. I'm almost positive. Well, actually, probably not. What? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Just because, um... You know, we're going to need room for the, for the lifts themselves. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go back to our first base, and I'm going to grab as many... Okay, what do we need again for that belt? Uh, logistics. I'm going to grab as many of these um, uh, steel frames that, I, that we have made. And I probably won't have enough to run the whole belt, but... I'll, I'll just downgrade it to, to Mark II and then upgrade it later. 
And then we want to make sure we have plenty of reinforced plates for the Mark II belt. All right, so let's do that. So what we want to do is we want to get our lines run first. Well, our conveyor belts, rather. And then, uh, you know, once we get them down here, then we'll figure out how we're going to connect them up from this point. What I might actually end up doing, too, is making this a, a flat piece. Kind of as a, like a landing for the for the lifts. Okay, let's head on back up here. We got a lot of conveyors to run. Um, I got quite a few steel beams with me, so we may have enough to do this. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. You know what? I don't like the way this looks. We're going to make these two like that. Okay, so this belt's going to be running on the ore radiation? I don't even know where the hell that's coming from. It wasn't here earlier. What the fuck, man? Is there... Is there like an irradiated creature? That walks around? That is weird. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to work fast here. Um... Okay, I want I want this to be actually raised up to here. And do we wanna See, I don't like the way that hangs over, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bring it up to here and we're gonna start it right here. Okay, so let's bring that up to there. out of here because it's all irradiated that's weird this tree is unfortunately going to have to go um i think we're here right yeah i mean i'd like that to be over but i don't like that hanging over the side like that so yeah it's just that isn't going to work for me that's the bottom line there Now, does that clear that foliage enough for us to not worry about it? I mean, the game doesn't give a shit. I'm just trying to be somewhat realistic here. And in a real world scenario, you would not want leaves in your conveyor line. So, yeah, we need this tree's going to have to go. There, that looks better. And I think we'll be able to clear this this stone thing a little here. We'll come right to there. There's another option. Go down there and then come this way to get underneath that guy. Whoops. Raise it back up to there, I guess. And then if we run another line in the future, that one should theoretically yeah that'll clear the top of that if we run another stacking line around here later in the future okay I think that's a reasonable solution there's always a solution it's more a question of how eloquent is that solution
Now, um, what we need, what we're going to need to do here is this is going to have to raise up high enough to connect to the second layer of this. Um, and then we'll curve it. All right, but that's not that's not perfectly lined up. I forgot about that. Okay. So we're going to bring it to here. And then we'll go one, two, this way. If we go... That's where I think it was. If we go down one... That actually no, I think that's correct. I think that's right. It's just it doesn't look right because it's not you know, it's kind of being pushed off to the right a little bit. So when you look at it from this side, it looks like it's not quite level, but it actually I believe is level. It's just uh again, it's not square. Okay. Yeah. And that's as that's as good as that's going to get. I don't think we can really do anything about that. So we can live with that. Cuz it's one of those things that, you know, don't stress out about things you can't change. At least, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know how to change that. And we're not going to worry about it. Okay. Now we need to stack these too high because we got to run two lines. What the hell is that big spider doing over there? All right, I have a question for you guys who have been playing this game longer than me. Why am I now no longer radiated over here when we were before? And why were we radiated back over there when we weren't earlier? I don't get that. I don't understand it. What's the deal, yo? <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird thing. Okay, so basically uh, we'll just keep doing the same thing. Uh, but this time we're going down. Down, 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 down. What the hell? Okay, so we are now down at our landing here. Um, you know, one thing I really don't like about running these belts on these ramps like this is they they do this little this little thing at each um, you know at each support, and uh, it just looks like shit. Is there anything that I can do about that? Do you guys know in the comments? I hate that. <laughs> it sucks. Um, which, you know, again, is is going to probably inspire me to redo this whole thing once we can fly and do the jetpack. I mean, I know I could admin fly, but I don't want to. That's cheaty. I only use that for screenshots and stuff. So, um... We're just gonna have to live with this until until we can make it better, I guess. All right. Well, anyway, let's see here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to split these guys off. So let's take care of the Mark Three line first. We'll run that just to there. Um. I don't like that hanging over like that. All right. Now, we want to get a Mark III lift. And is that going to... This is 
far down as it'll go. Okay. I think we can make that work. Well, I didn't use as many steel beams on, on that line as I thought I was going to. Of course, we're not done yet, but yeah, interesting. Okay, let's put you there, and we're going to do a... Two lift on you all the way down. Okay, and then we're going to need to put, uh, let's see, one, two. Right, that's got to, um, we're going to have to drop that down too, aren't we? Okay, so. Hmm. How do I want to handle this? What does it look like if we just do that? It looks like shit. I mean... Yeah, not a fan. The only problem with this is if we ever run another line on top of these later, then that could cause us some grief. What is this? Uh, no, 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 that's not what I do. Is that going in there straight? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, <clears throat> of course, that's something I could fix <clears throat> at a later time. I mean, I could raise that one up one, but then it wouldn't be even with the one down below, which may or may not be an issue. And, oh, I don't have enough reinforced plates. But I, I would drop this one to here, right? And then run the two lines going that way. And we'd have to, we'll have to put catwalks now, now down on this side, which is fine. Okay. So what if we... What if we do this then? Maybe this will work out. So I think that's as good as that's going to get. But I, I like it better than what we were doing before. It's a little cleaner. Yeah. I think I like this better. Okay. Let's get rid of that for a second. Architecture, get a catwalk corner. And let's start running um, these down too, since we're going to have to do it anyway. Um, actually, before I totally commit to this, let's just make sure that's going to jive okay. I think what I actually want to do is right, let's put that there for the moment. Yeah, that, that's okay. Oh, well, shit, actually. Oh, man, it's going to cause that to hang off the side. Uh, how is that going to attach to this? Okay, if we put this here. And then we 
go here. No, that's got to go up one more. But it is lined up. Oh, no, it's not lined up that way either, is it? Okay. So that means that's got to go there. If we press R, does that reverse it? Reversed. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, that fixed that issue. Nice. Then we can keep this nice and clean right down the center. Okay, so for this second one, we're going to have to sort of kind of guesstimate. One, two, three. Okay. Um... Does control line that up at all? Not really. But basically it's here and then one or yeah, two over. Right? Because it's two over. Yeah, okay. And then we'll put that one up one thing higher. Then we'll grab the mark two lift. And put that there. Grab a mark to belt. And we should be golden. Okay. Whoops. Let's start running the conveyor lines down. All right, guys, we have uh, our lines, uh, conveyor lines down here now. And uh, the final step in this particular project, I, I got to remember to do my to-do list, man. I keep uh, neglecting to do that, um, is to get power going and get the coal coming on down here. And I'm just going to fill up the lines until I'm ready to, to use it. Now, I haven't decided yet uh, how much of this coal is going to be used for the power plant, you know, that we're going to start setting up over in this area versus, you know, our steel production. So I figured I'm just going to run both of the lines all the way to the factory for the time being until we figure that out. Because when we do the, oh, let's see, do I have plenty of concrete and stuff for making power lines and all that I think so I might try and make use of the side outlets we're gonna need rods and copper wire for those if we just go with the poles rods copper wire yeah we might want to grab a few more rods I use quite a bit of those making the catwalks uh, anyway I might, I, I might take the coal line, that, you know, for the power plant and actually, you know, merge it off of, or split it rather, off of the line, you know, way up there, uh, because that area up there is going to be kind of the, the far edge of it. But I need to kind of plan that out first, so I'm not going to try and figure that out right now. Let's see how we want to do this. We're going to have to come off of this light here. And unfortunately, it doesn't let you make another connection on this, which doesn't make any sense at all. I know there's a mod. I think it's called Daisy Chain Everything Mod, which does allow you to do that. But of course, I'm not playing with mods now. Um, I put that there. I don't know if... We can get it all the way up there in one stretch. If we can't, we're going to have to put some walls down. It's going to be close. But the other thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put... Here, let's put another one of these in this corner. And one right here. Okay.
There. That's how we'll have to handle that. Um, did that work? I can't see if there's a line connected to that or not. There's the line right there. Okay, great. So we don't have to futz around with trying to get that to to do its thing. There. So that will go to here. Make it all the way to the corner. Yeah, look at that. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so the power line for the miner, uh, or power connection, rather. And we don't want it to be running through this cliff. So what if we put it there? That works. And looks sounds like the miner's starting up. Beautiful. All right, power connectors up there, and their radiation's back here too. But here we go. Yeah, we still have plenty of power. Two hundred and seventy coal per minute, baby. Right, fantastic. So the only thing I have left to do for this project is just get some supports in under the road. And, you know, as you guys know, I do that for realism, not because the game requires it. Um, did make some more ammo, too. And usually what I do is I just kind of put those... Uh, in the at the same spacing as the um, you know as the power lines and let's also switch to the toolbar that has those on there that's the center right Yeah, that's correct. Okay. There's a yellow slug. Uh, is there anything protecting it? There's a couple of the nasty plants. I get to this before they pop open. Yeah. this up. We should be able to open it now. Man, freaking tastic. Um, all right, I want to make sure that um, I didn't, I don't think I messed it up here, but I just want to make sure I didn't accidentally switch out Mark III for Mark II and vice versa, because there was a couple of places that I did that, you know, just kind of inadvertently. Uh, so this is Mark III all the way down. That's looking good. This is all Mark III. Now here's where I've got to 
come along and make sure that um oh look at that the mark three belts already full it's because it's so damn fast <laughs> all the way to all the way down to our factory oh my god that's crazy um unless it's unless it's hung up somewhere okay so i'm just gonna run along here and make sure all of the belts are correct Okay, it's going all the way into the lift. It's gotten all the way down here. And yeah, I think it's just so fast that <laughs> it didn't take long at all for it to, you know, to, to fill up. That's crazy. I didn't think it would have been full by this, you know, this quickly. And this isn't even the fastest belt. We got, I think we have up to mark five, is it? it can, it's over a 700 and some odd product per second. Or, uh, yeah. No, per minute. Sorry, per minute. <laughs> per second. <laughs> per minute. All right, so that's all three and two coming down. Oh, okay, so it hasn't. Wait a second. Hold on. I think we do have a problem. Unless it's doing that weird invisible thing. No, it is. See? There's actually coal there. It just... Sometimes it goes invisible. I don't know. That's really odd. But it's there. Uh, what about the Mark II? Is that all here now, too? Yeah, that's just really bizarre why it does that. Uh, but no, it looks like the Mark II is still on its way down. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the only other thing that I didn't do is I didn't put supports on the big ramp. There's the end of the coal there for the Mark II. On the big ramp coming off the hill. Um... And I'm debating whether or not I'm actually going to do that, only because I'm almost positive I'm going to change that once we can fly uh, with the jetpack. Uh, because I don't, I don't like the the janky, you know, the janky waviness of you know going down that ramp, anyways, of the conveyor belts. Because otherwise, if if we put Jesus, if if we put supports on that. All the way along. Well, okay, let me think. We have one, two, th three. We'd have to do four sections based upon the power poles, which is the way I'd like to do it. It just, I don't know, it seems a little inconsistent of me not to do it since we've done it for so many other things. Um, we might even run out of concrete. Okay, why don't we... Can I even reach up that high? I can. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it. Uh, just to be consistent. This is all just temporary. Uh, so I have a... I think that's all the way down. It's not like trying to connect underneath it, so we'll just say that it is. Question though is, can I reach that high? Um, also, because it's on an angle, that's gonna. Yeah, see, I can't even get the supports up there. Let's see if this gets me up high enough to reach it from here. Wow, I can't, I can't even reach it from here. Even from here, I can't reach it. My goodness, this is such a pain in the ass. I don't, I know some of you probably think I'm wasting my time, but it's the principle of the thing. Okay, so get over it. <laughs> Can I reach that one from here? Nope, it's just too, a little too damn high up. Okay, one thing I was thinking of doing is this. Um, just get the ramp.
And then if we do it this way, we can uh, we can use this. It's just that realistically, <laughs> you know, it it completely, you know, breaks the integrity of this. Um, Oh, no, actually, here. Let's do this. Aha. Uh -huh. That's how we do it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't actually in the game, but it would in real life. Is, And the whole point of this is to try and be somewhat realistic to real life. That's our solution right there. Okay, so let's just pull that down as far as we can. And then we can finish it off from down below. And then put our thingy there and our thingy here. Yeah, that's the way. This is the way. All right, cool. That one's gonna go all the way down, isn't it? I was wondering if we would could maybe luck out and get it on the cliff, but not quite. Okay. That yeah, works from here, or at least get him down lower. Yeah, and that's probably all the way down. I think that one's all the way down. There we go. Okay. That'll help me sleep easier at night. Knowing that I stayed consistent. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So that's going to be it. Whoop. Uh, it for this episode. Um, this is another really long one. I'm got a shit ton of editing to do. So I don't know how long it's ultimately going to be, but oh, that's my problem, of course, not yours. Um, and then, uh, so, uh, my plan for the next episode is to start the coal plant. Um, however, I might get steel going first, uh, at least for some of the, um, let's see. What we need the most to start with is is pipes, is, is steel pipes, so we can make our hypertube network. Uh, because not only do I want a hypertube network going up to our miners up there, but I also want one just going back and forth between the two factories because it's a fairly long jaunt, even in the Explorer, you know, driving back and forth, and I need to, you know, go back and forth between both places. And um, so we may, um, we may do something, uh, at least get some uh, preliminary steel going first before we really zero in on the coal. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope, oh, we need to, we need to do our hard drive, don't we? Uh, let's do that. Let's just let you go. All right. So we have alternate or, uh, yeah, iron alloy ingot that does copper and iron f in a foundry for 50 per minute as opposed to just 30 per minute with the normal. we got cotarium wire, which gives us 120 per minute, but I think we already took a really good wire recipe in um, the previous episode. Uh, you know, when we did all that exploration. Not really that interested in this. I don't know how important quick wire becomes later on in the game. It seems to suggest that it might be important because it's got, you know, multiple alternate recipes. Okay, so there's three, al uh, well, no, there's two alternate iron or, or, or sorry, iron ingot recipes. And I'm almost positive we took the pure iron ingot, which is 65 per minute. And it uses just iron ore and water. And that's, you know, 15 more than this recipe. 
See that requ the thing is though is that requires a refiner, which we don't have yet. I don't think we'll get that till we get into tier five. Uh, in the long run it's not a big deal. But I'm almost positive I took that one. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna take the iron one. If I look at the wire recipes. Oh damn. Caterium wire gives 120 wire per minute, a uh, normal wire, with just one caterium ingot. That's huge. Did, wait a minute. That doesn't make sense, though. The, fu the fused wire is, I think, the one we took for 90 per minute. I'm almost positive that's the one we did. Um, But that requires a caterium ingot and four copper ingots for only 90 per minute. Whereas this Caterium wire, I'm looking on the wiki, by the way. Uh, the Caterium wire is one Caterium ingot for 120. Oh, my God. That is an amazing recipe. Oh, wait, no. This is the Caterium wire. Never mind. <laughs> I was tabbed out. Oh, geez. we got to do this. That's crazy. Yep, that's what I'm doing. I'm glad I noticed that before I canceled it. Because we already have Caterium production going. And 120 per minute, that's four times the amount of the normal recipe for one caterium ingot. It, it just, that seems like, and in a constructor, you got it. That seems unbelievable. <laughs> I'm taking it. That's the one we're taking. Okay. Even though I took that other wire one, you know, now in hindsight, we kind of wasted it, but I had no idea, right? Oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Copper wire. With one Caterium ingot. Now, uh, we're going to have to... I don't know how if there is any Caterium closer down here. I mean, we got our, our pure node way up there. And, you know, we have the road to truck it down here. Okay, there's one right here. and Oh, and it's a pure. Oh, that's in an ideal position, you guys. Look at that. Our, I mean, our factory's right here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. That's a pure as well. But this is the one we'll tap into to make our wire. Yeah, see, that's the one we already have. So, all right, fantastic. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.